Hello, my name is Carlo from Tarragon D, and in this tutorial we want to create some clothes for uh, in Cinema 4D with the cloth uh, plugin for Cinema 4D, and we will use a figure that is designed in uh, Poser that we want to import. So we will lo <coughs> load our Poser object here, create our materials and here we have a figure and um, the first thing we need to do is convert this figure into a editable object so that we don't need the plugin anymore and I quickly make a small scene with some lights but that's only for information Okay, now we want to start, and the first thing we have to do is making um, the size of the cloth, or better, the outline of the, the sketch of the cloth, and for that we will go into the front view, and in the front view we will see the figure like this and we go into the structure menu and we choose create polygon and now we start creating a polygon we want to make her um, an evening dress or something like this so we will start here this is the area where the arms will go through later so now it will fit to the body here, like this, like this. And then it will go over. It's a bit like in Photoshop. <laughs> For those of you who work with Photoshop. And now here is the second part where the arm will go through. And for the shoulders it is important to um, create two polygons here so that this area will later be um, the neck holder. Now this will go down here, second polygon here and close the polygon. Okay, so this is um, the sketch of our, the outline of our evening dress and we can see it in this perspective where we can um, move it to the front so this is our front at the front of our dress and now you have some different ways um, to get the back um, I prefer just um, just make copy paste and create a second object here that I can move to the back and after that I will uh, select both and combine and delete so that you will make one object out of the two it's the fastest way for me okay great so we have the front and we have the back and next we need to select um, the borders here that will be connected later <coughs> for that I will go in the front perspective again in the front view and I click the select uh, tool and I select I deselect um, this here so that you will not only select the visible items but also the ones in the back and I click um, select the borders here okay so now I can um, select these borders go over here, go over here at this time I'm holding the mouse down and I have to select the two borders here okay so if I go back 
here I can see, okay, I've selected um, the borders in the front and the borders in the back the same time. And I have um, not selected these, uh, these borders here because um, they will not be connected later. And to combine these we will go to the structure menu and take the Yes, in German it's Fernähen, uh, in English I think it's uh, to sew or stitch or needle tool, I don't know what it's called in the English version. Um, but maybe you can orientate on this icon. And now I hold down Shift and click here and he will automatically give me some uh, points on the back side and I will choose um, the point that is corresponding to our point here and when I lose the mouse um, he will automatically combine this. I will do the same on the other side, hold down the shift key, combine these and do the same with these ones up here like this and like this. And now I have um now we have the polygon um with the openings where the openings should be and we are nearly ready to make cloth. But before we want to make uh cloth out of it um we have to make the structure of our polygon here um a bit more a bit more um, exact. So we want to divide um, this polygon into many smaller parts. So we have only one part here and now we want to divide this and for that we will go um, into the functions and here we take divide um, or, or subdivide. I don't know what it's in the English version, in German it's on the Thailand, and normally um, maybe two will be enough, so we can see, okay, he just divided our polygon in many more smaller polygons. So now we are nearly, I can render this, and this looks not like a cloth. <laughs> Um, because now we need um, to make the preparation for the cloth generating process and the first thing we want to do is um, add the um, collision tag to our figure that's, uh, that's necessary for the cloth to recognize that uh, it will not go inside our object so it will make a collision and for our polygon here, we need to add cloth the cloth tag. Okay. And in the cloth tag, we will see some options that we have here. Um, and we will go into this uh, submenu where we have the dressomatic. That is the most important tool later. But first, we have to um, define our polygons um, that will be used to stitch uh, both sides together and for that I will go into the side view select this and I will I need to choose deactivate this again and select all of these in the middle here so, like you can see, I have selected all the polygons on the sides and now I can click on the cloth tag again, go to this and um, set these um, yes, as the stitch polygons. And now we can adjust the steps that the dressomatic um, will make. The more steps you will enter here, the more exact the result should be. 
and here um, we can define um, the distance from the body um, to the class later and I will leave it like it is. Okay, so we want to give it a try. Starts the dress matic This process can take some time depending on your computer speed. And like you can see here, my computer is not so very fast, but it will create a cloth. Okay, now it's finished. And now I can render. Give it a try. Okay, looks um, <laughs> interesting. So why didn't he pick this point here? Mm, I don't know. I hope if you do it, it will be... Um, okay, so now um, this is a bit... Um, unsmooth and we want to smooth it with the hypernerbs object modifier okay put it inside here and render again and we can see okay we have um kind of a cloth and now the le last thing we need is a uh, material for this and what uh, color do you like i will make a dark one the small black <laughs> maybe add a diffuse okay I added just a small diffusion here that is not so um, boring black close it apply it to our cloth object render again and we can see okay we have created a small dress okay i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you can make your own dresses now and so i wish you um, much fun by creating your own dresses and be creative okay see you next time bye bye